Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to explain what to do when your iPad won't update. What a pain this is. You're trying to update it, it won't work. Yeah. What's the first thing to do? First thing to do is just check Apple's servers because when a new iOS update is released, everyone is trying to download it at the same time. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, their servers get overloaded, maybe you can't update your iPad right away. Yeah, that can happen. That can so happen. we'll drop a link, right? Yeah, we'll drop a link to that in the description section below. Not a super common thing, but mm -hmm. It, it's only really common on the first day of the new iOS release. Yep, and it's yeah. worth a look. Yep, absolutely. Next thing to do is just turn your iPad off and back on. Mm -hmm. Press and hold the power button on your iPad until slide the power off appears on the screen. And you're like the flight yeah, attendant. Like, and then uh, slide the power off, wait 20 seconds, press and hold the button again until the Apple logo appears and then let go. Yep. Next thing to do is clear out some iPad storage space. I actually had this problem today when I was updating my iPad. Mm -hmm. My storage space was full, it said you can't uh, download the new update because you don't have enough storage space to actually download the update. So, right. So how do we check to see which apps are taking up the most space? Well, we can open up the settings app, mm -hmm. tap on general, I'm already there, and then tap iPad storage. And here you can see it has some recommendations for you. Turn iCloud photos, save 4.7 gigabytes of data, mm -hmm. uh, review your large attachments. Uh, sometimes it says delete old iMessages uh, too, mm -hmm. would clear out some space. But as you can see, photos using a lot of space, books using a lot of space. Mm -hmm. If you have an old book on your iPad, maybe that you finished reading, go ahead and delete that. Yep. Uh, but photos and videos, you start clearing those out a little bit. Yep. Save a lot of space that way. Mm -hmm. The next thing to do is just to try using iTunes on a computer. It can be any computer, mm -hmm. not the iPad itself. Yep. And so what we're going to do is show you how to do that. Um, let's hook it up. Would you plug in this end? Nope. You got it backwards. I do. Darn. All right. So I'm going to plug this into my Mac. Plug that in. Even though this isn't the computer that's linked to the iPad. You can use any computer you want with iTunes. Yep. So I'm going to open up iTunes. Or music, it's called now. No, I'm not, because that's not how it works anymore. Okay. It used to be that you had to use iTunes to update your iPad, and that's what I thought it was. But in fact, with the new version of the Mac operating system, if you have a PC, still use iTunes. If you have a new Mac, under Locations on the left-hand side in Finder, mm -hmm. you'll see the iPad. Just tap on that. So essentially what they did is they took this tab out of iTunes and just built it into the operating system. That's going to confuse a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, it is. So it'll say software, iOS 13.3.1, check for update. David has the most recent version, but a lot of times that will get an update unstuck. Yep. Absolutely. On, on the iPad. I'm just going to unplug this real quick. Sounds good. And then if you've been trying to use iTunes or the new Finder with the new OS, yep. uh, to do it on your iPad is tab general, software update, it says download, install, new update. Mm -hmm. That's where it'll be. So the next thing to do is reset all settings. This is kind of a way to figure out if there's a deeper software issue that we can't really track down. Yeah, it's kind of annoying because you're gonna have to re-enter your Wi-Fi passwords yep. and stuff like that. But it's a lot easier than doing other things, which could be more invasive in our next step. So let's show them how to do that first. Yep. So I'm gonna go back to the main page of general. Yep. I'm gonna scroll down to reset and then tap reset all settings. It'll ask for your passcode. You'll get a confirmation pop-up that says, do you want to reset all settings? You tap reset all settings. iPad turns off, resets, turns back on, you're set. The next thing to do is actually to DFU restore your iPad, which is going to force it to update by erasing all the software on the iPad and then putting it back on. The problem and just the danger here is if your iPad is damaged, a DFU restore can break it. Okay. So if you smashed it, and it's all working fine, maybe it's a little bit glitchy, and the software just isn't updating, you might just want to live with it instead of taking a chance at a DFU Restore. But if it is in good shape and everything's fine otherwise, then go ahead and do this DFU Restore. There isn't going to be a problem at all. Yeah, if you're a little bit nervous, maybe go to the Apple Store, set an appointment there first. Yeah, and they can do it for you. Make yeah. them do it, and then they'll be liable. If you want to take the DFU Restore approach, mm -hmm. we have a link in a card above and the description section below walking you through the entire process. Yep, and that will update your software, then you can restore from your backup in iTunes, Finder, iCloud, wherever it is. Great. Yeah. That is what to do when your iPad won't update. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you've enjoyed, leave us a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPad videos.